Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. I post my Will I Buy It series every single Wednesday where I'm chatting over new makeup releases, talking a little bit about them, and then talking over whether I'm planning to pick them up or pass over them. Uh, like I said, I do post these every single Wednesday and I did recently create the community Will I Buy It playlist for any other creator that also makes these style of videos. There's now a playlist that anybody can click on and just see a bunch of different videos from a bunch of different creators. I hope you guys are still enjoying the playlist. I myself am watching it all the time. I've already found so many new channels that way and people that I had no idea was doing this series So it's been a lot of fun. So that will also be in my description box I do think that I am caught up on everybody who sent in requests asking to join the playlist if you were a creator um, So if I haven't gotten back to you yet, it means that it got lost in all of the messages that I was getting so if you just want to let me know again um, I can happily send over the link to have access to it if you are a creator and makes the style of videos as well um, so I did just want to say that but of course we have a lot to chat about this week so why don't we go ahead and get started but I do want to say that I'm very sick today so <sighs> boo. Uh, I'm filming this on Monday like I normally would. We were gone all weekend. We left early Friday morning. We were out of town for a wedding and I was totally fine um, throughout the entire weekend and then last night, Sunday night, I woke up around 11 p.m. very violently sick. I threw up a lot so I like barely have a voice right now so that sucks. Don't feel well and I'm super tired so... <laughs> Dang, I don't know if I have a stomach bug or like food poisoning or I don't know what's going on So I tried my best today to look like a normal person, but if I don't look good sound good or just Don't look like I'm feeling very well. It's because I don't feel very well and I just want to go lay down But show must go on so we're gonna get this done I'm gonna try to get through this week as quickly as I can so I can uh, go horizontal again because I'm, I'm not feeling well <laughs> bummer okay so uh, first up I got a bunch of tags on this product from Tatcha it's the kiss you lip mask and it's $30 um, so basically it's a mask for your lips it's supposed to be unique soft honey like textured lip mask that leaves lips feeling hydrated and soft and appearing smoother uh, I don't think I'm gonna get this one I know I got a ton of tags on this one I think it's because I talk about my dry lips a lot over here I know um, and I'm always looking for new things to try to like help my lips and make them smoother and just more hydrated it but I think that I'm really gonna pick up the Laneige sleeping mask I it's on my Sephora loves list I got it flagged I know like everybody talks about that one and says really good things about it so I think that's the one that I'm planning on getting so and next up I also got a bunch of tags on this one from Juvia's Place they have new brushes out and I love makeup brushes love them so this is a seven piece uh, set it says the royal brush set they're dark blue and gold handles they're all face brushes and they're gonna be $55 Ah, man, I, I really am. I'm a big old fan of, of brushes, I'm not going to lie. And I, I like that they're all face brushes, and I see a lot of brushes in here that I'm like, that could be a good bronzer brush. That could be a good contour brush. But I'm going to I'm gonna try to be strong. I know Juvia's Place is now at Ulta, and it's like, mm, maybe if I saw it pop up at Ulta, and if Ulta, I know it just went to 7.5% cash back on Ebates the other day, of course, after I've made my two Ulta orders. Still waiting for one more package, and then I'll sh um, share my next haul. This package from Alta is going to take 10 days to get to me from when I place my order. That's an, I've never had to wait this long for an Alta package. I know like, people keep asking, where's your haul? I'm like, where's my Alta package? <laughs> Still waiting. So uh, that's frustrating. Um, but maybe if I saw them over there, I would consider it. But I know like I, I, have, I have a lot of brushes. I know. Next up, Smashbox has a new palette out and it's one of their cover shop palettes. So this one says it's online only at Ulta Beauty and Smashbox Cosmetics. It's the Sunlit Yellow. So it's $29. Um, I know a lot of people said they got like subculture vibes from this one. I don't really know if I did. I don't know. It's got the yellow in there and a blue and some of the darker colors. But um, to me, honestly, I guess I, I didn't even really like consider it because I've tried either two or three of the um, Smashbox Cover Shop palettes and I don't like them. Um, the ones that I bought myself, I ended up returning. And I think I got one from review from like Influencer when I used to do that website. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm not a fan of it. I'm pretty sure I decluttered it out of my collection. So I'm just not a fan of these. And I feel like that's like all Smashbox keeps putting out lately is these cover shot palettes. And I'm like, okie dokie. <laughs> I did just buy the Cali Contour from them though. And I did like that. I do like the Cali Contour so far. So, but I'm just kind of tired of seeing these little cover shot palettes. And I like small palettes, but I just don't like the formula in those. Um, next up, so Natasha Denona has a new foundation coming out. So this is the Transfer Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Finish. It has 35 shades and it's going to be $45 each. 
Um, looks like they have different undertones, which is nice. I think it's already available at Sephora. I did notice that it's not a full ounce, and I can't remember. I want to say it's like, is it like 0.9 ounces or something? Like, it's close to an ounce, but it's still not a full ounce, which most foundations, like, kind of like that standard is like a one ounce. So I did notice that and for $45, that is still pretty high. I know a lot of people are really upset about the shade range, and I think, like... I think it was kind of weird how they showed the shade range on the different arms because I feel like especially that way you saw that it wasn't the best shade range because the fair shades and the deep shades only have like fair has four and deep has five and like light and medium I think they have ten shades three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ten eleven shades in there so I know people are, are really mad about that um, which just, it sucks. I mean, I feel like you really can't talk about a foundation these days without touching on, on a shade range. And some people are glad that you do, and some people are mad that you do. Like, when I talk about foundation shade range, ranges in these Will I Buy It videos, like, I, I have people say, like, well, why do you care? You know, why, why are you speaking up on it? Because you can find your foundation shade. That's, I mean, even if I could find my foundation shade, which is great, it's, you know, I, I think a lot of people do that because we're trying to speak up on a problem as well like there's other problems that I speak up about that I don't necessarily have that issue myself or go through that myself but it's still something that I can speak up about so I, I don't know I think it's just such a hard thing these days and it just sucks because you're always making somebody mad and I think that's just a frustrating thing but um so obviously I mean the the shade range doesn't look super fair to me um, and I think 35 shades that's a, that's quite a lot of shades but the gradient doesn't seem great and I think just how they made that shade range photo like it kind of speaks to that which is kind of a bummer um, like I said I do think it's a little bit pricier as well and then again with the matte finish I'm not super drawn to matte finish foundations myself I like a few here and there but I mostly go for like a natural finish or a dewy finish uh, because I do deal with dry skin mostly so uh, it's probably not something that I'm going to uh, pick up myself either. And then next up we have, I shall tell you, um, we have a new palette from Estee Lauder. This is called the Bronze Gaddis Palette. And it says it has eight shades, pearl and matte finishes. It's $39, my poor voice. Um, just like the name of it with this palette, you can create that bronzy, glowy eye look. I'm reading from Trend Moods Instagram, so I always do have her linked in my description box as well. It does say this is limited edition. Uh, I can't say that this palette caught my attention at all either. I've kind of been mentioning that I feel a little like burned out on eyeshadow palettes lately and I'm kind of going for more like complexion products and such. So I feel like unless an eyeshadow palette is like really kind of catching my attention, I'm kind of like able to, to brush it off easier because I know I'm buying other things. Um, so that one didn't really interest me in $39 for eight shades. I don't know. It just didn't, it just didn't catch my attention enough to really kind of consider. And then we also have... Okay, this is another eyeshadow palette from Estee Lauder. This one is called the Goddess Glow. So we have the Bronze Goddess and then the Goddess Glow. Are these the same palettes? They look completely different. Are these the same? The one on the Estee Lauder website, like it almost kind of looks like cheap and like not really anything. And then the one that Trend Mood posted, like it actually looks like a nice palette and the swatches look really pretty. That's so weird. <laughs> like, I don't know, it's so weird like the lighting of some things um, just can like totally change the, the the palette and what it looks like. But it is, I mean, it's the Goddess Glow Palette, eight shades for $39 pearl and matte finishes. Huh, interesting. Um, it does say it'll be an Ulta Beauty exclusive in August. Trend Mood's photo looks so much better than the one on the Estee Lauder website. Uh, but again, I'm still, I'm still gonna stay firm and say that, no, I don't need that, but man, that's, that's super weird. Uh, I got quite a few tags on this one from Milk Makeup, and it seemed like a lot of people were really excited about this from the tags I was getting. But Milk Makeup is coming out with the Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. So it's a setting powder to also blur the pores and imperfections and fine lines. It's also supposed to set the makeup. It says it's 31% lighter than most setting powders to lock in makeup all day without cakiness. And there's also supposed to be no flashback. No flashback. Um, so it's in three different shades and there's $29 each. So there's translucent light, translucent medium, and translucent deep. So that's nice because I don't a lot of shades mostly aren't they? just translucent and that's it right no 
Um, I don't, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't feel well. I'm not, I'm not doing well today, guys. Um, but usually, like, I'm thinking of, like, the Laura Mercier. That's typically, I think that was just, like, the translucent powder. Um, I'm kind of, like, looking in my bag. The RCMA, that was just the no color powder, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, I mean, that could be cool that there's the light, medium, and deep. So, it's going to be available in August. Uh, like, I want to be interested in this one because it just, it sounds interesting. I like that it says that, that it's supposed to be lighter, so it's not supposed to be super cakey. Um, but right now, I'm not so much into the loose setting powders. I'm more into like the pressed powders. Um, I use the Urban Decay, the All Nighter, like waterproof powder. I use that a lot, one from CoverGirl I use quite a bit. I've been using the one from Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Flawless Finish powder as well. So I haven't been doing the loose powders as much. So I'm probably gonna say no to this one too. Like I, I'd be interested in trying it, but I just feel like with what my makeup preferences are lately, I feel like I probably shouldn't do it. So, so okay. Alrighty, so moving on. Next up, we have a new palette from Elsie Cosmetics. I've never tried anything from Elsie Cosmetics. You'll have to let us know what you love from them, what you would recommend. So they are also coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. So this is the Minimalist Mauves. So it has five different shades in there. Now this one, when I saw it, and especially when I saw the swatches of it, it looks so much to me like the Dose of Colors Marvelous Mauves. That is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. It goes with me all the time. It's probably one of my most used eyeshadow palettes. I just love that one so much, but especially when I saw the swatches, that is exactly where my mind went to. So I feel like I probably wouldn't need this one as well because they look so darn similar. The packaging looks really pretty though. I feel like some people might not like the packaging and like the circles inside, um, but it looks like it has a nice mirror as well in there. But between never trying Elsie Cosmetics, um, so I'm not like super like brand loyal, like you know something immediately catches my attention and I start to think about it and then knowing that I have something so similar in my collection makes it a little easy for me to say no to. I got a whole bunch of tags on this next one here from Natasha Denona. This is the Camel eyeshadow palette. So this, when I first saw it, it looked like another mini palette. Um, like the, I have the Lila palette on my eyes today, just to something super simple, of course. So this is the uh, mini Lila palette. I have the mini Sunset palette, and these are really small. Well, she also has five pin palettes that are bigger than this one as well. Um, and those are $48. That's what the Camel palette is going to be. So you get the five different shades for $48. This one is that very neutral palette. Um, it's matte and shimmers in there, it looks like as well. And this one, I feel like I should be gravitating towards it. Like I feel like I should be because I like my neutrals. Uh, I like like my warm browns and smoky eyes and like my simple basic looks, I really do. But I feel like this one is almost just a little bit like too simple for me. And I feel like it's too easy for me to look at this and say like, I have all five of these shades, you know, some maybe I even have it in one palette or I have it amongst some other palettes. You know what I'm saying? So I, I feel like, and especially because this is a bigger one, like yes, you get more product, which hurrah, that's great for a ton of people. But for me, I, I genuinely don't mind a palette this size with this, like with the amount of product that you get in here because I'm not going through eyeshadow palettes. I don't know if I've ever hit pan on any of my eyeshadow shades. So for me to pay more money to get more product, that's not necessarily a bonus to me personally. It might be to you, but for how large my eyeshadow palette collection is, how light-handed I am with my makeup, and just like how often I'm kind of rotating my palettes around, that's not really a bonus for me, and it's it's usually like more of a detriment. Um, so I'm I'm not gonna plan on getting that one. So I don't know if that would surprise some people or not, but you'll have to let me know what you think of that one. Um, this is just makeup news, but I saw that Dominique Cosmetics is coming into Sephora. That's really exciting. Uh, the YouTuber Kristen Dominique started her own brand, Dominique Cosmetics. They have the Latte Palette and the Lemonade Palette, and I know she went into Ulta Beauty, and apparently now she's coming into Sephora. That's super exciting, so big congrats to her. Um, I have a feeling we'll be seeing more and more products rolling out from her brand as well, so that's super 
super cool. Okay, so next up, Makeup Geek has some new eyeshadows out. They have a summer collection, which has some singles in there. They also have fall collection singles as well. Um, so I believe that you would just be buying the shades individually. And let me see. Oh, they also have the Pumpkin Spice Eyeshadow Palette, which will have nine shades. That will be available in September. Um, but just kind of looking at their website with some of these new single shades, they have their signature eyeshadows, which are $6. They have the foiled shadows, which are $10 for the singles. And they also have their power pigments, which are $9 each. So you can kind of mix and match and create and whatnot. Um, so I... It's so weird because like I used to love Makeup Geek so much and I've purchased so many Makeup Geek singles and I will say that I don't feel like I purchase single shadows as much anymore. I'm, I am going for the palettes more. I don't have the most like creative mind when it comes to makeup looks and sometimes I think that's my challenge with buying single shadows is I'm not sure if I'm like putting them together like correctly or in a good way so I kind of like it to be done for me uh, but I really like Makeup Geek is one of those brands that like I really want to see like make a comeback they were so popular on YouTube at one point and then I don't really know what happened but all of a sudden it was like they they weren't um, some of these summer colors are so pretty pink of me summer loving leafing so soon which is a really cool green but I feel like I'm already starting as much as I don't want to. I'm starting to kind of like make that transition over into fall. It probably doesn't help like this the past couple of days. It's been kind of cooler here. Like when I took Aries for a walk this morning, I was wearing a sweatshirt and I was like, what? And you know, I'm watching the high school football players practice as we walk by and I'm like, what's cool starting? <laughs> What's going on? So I don't know, just being realistic and knowing that I don't really go for the singles as much. Ooh, my Ulta package is here. But like I was saying, just knowing that I don't go through the singles as much, I'll be curious to um, see the price on the, the palette that's coming out in September and check that over. But again, I'm probably going to go ahead and say no to that one for Makeup Geek. So next up, Benefit is coming out with a new product. They're coming out with the Brow Contour Pro. It's a four-in-one defining and highlighting brow pencil for $34, and it'll have five different shades, five pencils with different shades. So you have a lighter and a deeper brow shade to give your brows depth and dimension, plus an edge definer and an arch highlighter to clean and shape your brows, long wear and waterproof. Uh, I don't know about this one. I don't know if, I, if, it, if it, I, you know, I don't mind doing my brows these days. I feel like I can actually kind of do them a little bit quicker. Like today I was just like, choo -choo 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 -choo, like yeah, I didn't want to spend too much time on my brows and I feel like I have like a fairly decent routine down and I don't know if I need a product like this right now. It might be fun to try out and see if it would be something that I would enjoy but I feel like it's almost just like a little too like complicated for me and my brow game at this moment, you know? I feel like if you're a big brow lover and like that's your thing and you don't mind, like some people enjoy doing their brows and that's great. Um, we're just not the same people and that's totally fine because you know, being different makes the world go around. But um, I, I, I can't say when I saw it, I was like, that's what I've been missing. There she is. Maybe I'll try it and realize it, realize it has been what I was missing. Because if you watch my makeup monthly, I did talk about those MAC, Mac brow pencils. The shape and style. The style and shade. Shape and shade. I'm sick. Please excuse me. Um, but I totally did not expect to love that product. And they came traveling with me. It's what I wore for the wedding that I was at over the weekend. And those are like those are awesome so I mean you never know you never know until you try something but uh, I just don't feel like a significant pull for these so I don't know I, I don't feel like I was interested in a lot of things this week but it, it might be because of the mood I'm in it might be because I, I generally just feel like crud and all I'm really thinking about right now is laying down and not buying more makeup and it might be because another Ulta package just arrived at my door so I'm like hey girlfriend <laughs> Play with the makeup you just bought. But uh, other than that, though, that is going to do it for this week's so Will I Buy It video. Guys, that is everything for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm low energy, and I probably look like I'm sick. But sometimes you have sick days, but sometimes this is your job, and you can't always call in sick. I'm more worried that tomorrow I'm going to feel even worse, and that tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I won't be able to film at all. So I thought, while I can still make myself get up and do things like I might as well film because that way if I have to take tomorrow off then I can I, I can be okay with that so thank you so much for watching uh, I do appreciate it so much if you guys did enjoy this video I hope that you'll give it a thumbs up I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go I do post every single day except for Saturdays over here and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video